Hello, my name is Sean Riggin. I'm currently a fourth year music education slash performance major at Texas Tech University in Lubbock. I play the tuba, and today we're going to be talking about an exercise called Tone Ladder. So, Tone Ladder, before we begin, requires a couple of different prior knowledge areas. You need to be able to play all your major scales and your arpeggios and have an understanding of scale degrees. So that's the number of each note in the scale. Um, and you'll be able to know scale degrees 1, 3, and 5 from each key. So that's what we're going to use in this exercise. So good. So once you have an understanding of that and you can play it without looking at a piece of paper or having to think about it too hard, we're going to start out with scale degree 1 in the key of B flat, which is a B flat. We're going to play it for a hold up. Nice and open this whole time. One, two, three. Good. Now in whole notes, we're going to play scale degree 1, slur up to scale degree 3, and then back down to scale degree 1. So B flat to D to B flat. Here we go. In whole notes. 1, 2, Scale degree one to scale degree five to scale degree one. We're just going up from B flat to F to B flat. This whole time we're focusing on making consistent sounds. You want to keep everything nice and open, relaxed, keep the air flowing like a straight arc. Here we go. B flat to F. One, two, three. through scale degrees three and five we're going to go scale degree one slur up to scale degree one again so the next b flat in the octave and then back down to our lower b flat here we go on this one especially really nice and relaxed right blow through to the next note open air stream try to make everything sound as consistent as possible here we go hold notes one two three After I finish this step, I like to go to a smaller note value once I have the whole notes really down and I feel comfortable with them. So now we're going to do the same thing we just did except in half notes this time. So scale degree one just by itself in a half note. One, two, ready. Now we're going to go scale degree one to three, back to one. B flat, D, B flat. One, two, ready. Still staying nice and consistent. Still trying to have the nice open tone that we had on the whole notes. B flat to F to B flat now on whole notes. One, two, ready. Now to finish out the sequence, B flat to B flat to B flat. One, two, ready. From here, you can either go to two places once you have this down. You can either uh, half the note value again to quarter notes and do the same thing, or if you feel like you really have a good grasp on this, you can add another scale degree above where we just went. So if we went scale degree one to one just then, and back to one, now it only makes sense to repeat the process. So we're going to scale degree one to scale degree three to scale degree one. So we're going to go an octave plus a third. So now I would go B flat to D in the staff, back to our B flat. Let's try that in half notes. One, two, ready. Now let's go scale degree one to scale degree five above three we just played. Back to scale degree one. One, two, ready. Now to finish out the sequence, we're going to make a two octave jump from scale degree one to one above the staff to one. Nice and relaxed, especially on this one. One, two, ready. Now from here, uh, not in this video, but in your own practice, try this with different keys. Uh, you can go from B flat, go up chromatically to B natural to C, or you can go in a uh, circle of fifths. From here, you can do whatever you want. Um, working this exercise in different keys is crucial. Thank you for learning my exercise today and a good practicing.